All right, so we're here with Rich Graham. Rich is the president of Kingdom Ag, and they are the makers of Shred Select. So, Rich, can you uh, kind of tell us what makes Shred Select different than anything else that's on the market? You bet. Travis, we have an opportunity here with Shred Select to introduce a technology that's, that's just simple. It's revolutionary in that the concept um, is going to be using differential speed uh, with modular design to cut up corn stalks and to size them and I'll let the customer choose what does he want, how much shredding does he want, and how much sizing does he want. Okay. And the whole virtue here is based on differential speed, uh, which is a neat concept that allows the stock rolls uh, to not be changed on the base operation of the header, but just the row unit themselves and the stock roll design is gonna allow for a, um, a dramatic change in how we process the stocks. Okay, so, so rub me through exactly what we're going to be doing to the stocks. You said we're processing stocks, we're going to be opening stocks up. Can you take me through what that's going to look like compared to a traditional system? You bet. So from the beginning of stock rolls, uh, they've been the same size and they run the same speed, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. So our design uses um, just making one larger and one smaller, uh, as we have here on this John Deere head behind us. And with just a difference in, in a half inch increase in diameter on the large size, mm -hmm. you have in effect uh, a 40% or over 40% speed differential. By shrinking the one side, increasing the other side, you have a natural, when it spins one to one ratio, the outside is spinning over 40% faster. Okay. And that virtue allows each tooth to be processing differently. In other words, pulling and stretching or shredding the stock. Mm -hmm. And then we have the ability with different modules, different shapes of teeth and different spacing with the rotary knives then to process both the, the stock diameter and then the length of how many pieces based on how many knives you put in there. Okay, so, so just to kind of recap there, rather than just poking or puncturing the stock, we're actually tearing it apart as it goes through. Exactly. Okay. From what we see, kind of the first that, that we have seen in, in a field of an actual shredding, of an actual mm -hmm. opening, uh, because everyone else seems to, to, to tend to cut or open it, but they don't shred. They don't make the vertical openings that, that uh, differential speed does. Then by shredding, we're exposing more of that pith, and that's going to in turn, theoretically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speed up the breakdown yeah. of that stock. Yeah, we just think we're going to have so many more options instead of a one-size-fits-all mentality that corn heads have kind of taken to the market. You can either get this style fluted roll or you can go to a complete shredding, uh, chopping head. Really, there's no head that shreds. And what this allows us is to do that with incredibly simple technology. We aren't adding any knives. We aren't adding any, any, any cutter knives, rotary lawnmower blades under the header. We're not adding horsepower requirements. We're not adding the weight and the cost. And we're getting a huge virtue in how we can give, give the end producer uh, the ability to choose where on the spectrum of shredding does he want. And we're still allowing it to be sized so that it's in pieces that are together mm -hmm. and not get blown easily with wind and, and water. So Rich, this sounds like a pretty neat concept. Where are you at as far as uh, coming to market with this product? Uh, well, the entire concept is less than a year old. So we are very early and we're in phase one and we are excited to be learning um, all kinds on different model heads this year. But we are on a journey and we want to partner with the manufacturers or those that make stock rolls and license this technology. Okay. So we are excited to be uh, partnering and working with anyone who's willing to do that. Um, and uh, look forward to getting it to market uh, in as quick and as broad a way as possible. But this is all testing and, and development right. and research that uh, I believe is going to open up a whole new window of opportunities for, for producers to have options in the future. Okay. You get a lot of opening with our most aggressive one where it, it's, it's opened up that side right to the pith. There's another one right below it. Now there, it's the vertical piece is there, but you can see the whole sides are are very open as well. So we still get the differential speed advantage of opening up the, the, the stock, but it's not gonna be as much. This is very soft, everything's been crunched. You can see lots of teeth marks there. And we see it open without any effort. It's, it's already splitting open all the way up, including this area here. 
you can see that's been every part of that's been either opened or smashed there you see the puncture wounds of that 55 degree and then uh, as you go through it goes all the way up every part of that typically you'll see punctures even into this smaller area all the way up to almost the tassel you'll see things start still opening up out to there so we're getting a lot of good break breaking there um, even where it's the base part of the stock there very girthy there you get the puncture wound still some opening but kind of a medium shred it's still a, a size and it's just split it but it hasn't shredded it quite as much as the other side the other nice thing is the explosion at the where it releases the stock there's pretty good explosion down there it's going to be easier on tire wear it's not like a chopping corn head where it leaves a sharp point where it's going to gouge tires so we have that advantage too is right where it releases the stock it leaves a softer spot that's not a hard cut off sharp edge but again here's more exposure to the to the nice openings uh, I think just ready for decomposition. Just a lot of good, as you pick through this, a lot of good stuff going on. Even in our least aggressive roll, you're still getting a lot of, of opening ready for decay. So look forward to some updates with this study. Uh, like I said before, we're, this, is, this is one product within the residue management study that we're going to be looking at. And uh, we'll get back with you with the results.